Begin here, 23-year-old woman from Pretoria, Talita Budram, took it upon herself to assist under-resourced schools in Gauteng province to mitigate load shedding by inventing portable solar power desks. This follows concerns about the impact uh, that the rolling blackouts have on the learning ability of children. The Goza Primary School in Freedom Park is among the schools that benefited from the project. 150 portable desks outfitted with solar panels were given to the students at Goza Primary School in Soweto. Children can study at home with the desks thanks to a donation made during load shedding. This comes after early childhood development centers expressed concerns about the effect load shedding has on the ability of kids in the foundation phase to learn. Prior to 2022, the Basic Education Department was in charge of ECDs. This changed when the Social Development Department relinquished control. It actually started out, uh, we were watching a new segment, my dad and I, and we got to discussing that, uh, you know, it's not fair that so many children do not have desks at school. So then I did some further research and found that according to UNESCO, there are 3 million children in South Africa that do not have desks at school, 95 million children in Africa and just over 400 million children globally. Not having a desk affects their handwriting, their overall academic performance, their homework delivery, their focus and their concentration and can be very, very, um, very difficult for a child to be expected to sit on cold muddy floors or stand for an entire school day. ECD facilities which serve kids between the ages of 2 and 6 are currently struggling to deal with load shedding. An Nkulisweni preschool class of more than 50 children is significantly disrupted by the power outages brought on by load shedding. Even toddlers sit at desks in a pitch black room. This increases the strain of the teacher who is in charge of instructing the 50 students who are enrolled in her class. President Sora Ramaphosa rejected a request to exempt hospitals, clinics, police stations and schools from load shedding. The Goza Primary School received 150 portable desks with solar panels thanks to private funding, enabling kids to study at home during load shedding. Talita Buadram created the desks six years ago for a science project. She hopes that more businesses will sponsor kids so that they can survive load shedding. For Soweto TV News, I am Zuli Banzi Mazibugo.